Before you can invest responsibly, you have to assess your own risk tolerance. That is, how much volatility are you willing to take on in the pursuit of your investment gains? Uh, my guest is Richard Cummings in Clearwater, Florida. Richard, thanks for talking with us today. What is the most important factor in determining your risk tolerance? Hi, Scott. Thank you for having me. Uh, one of the most important things about risk tolerance is it has to be your decision as to how much risk you really want to have in your portfolio. Um, I found that a lot of times people, uh, when they're working with a financial planner, they have quite a bit of risk and um, if maybe they're not quite as risk oriented as the person that's handling their account. So how does risk tolerance change over time? That is a great question, Scott, and I get that asked a lot to me. Uh, the biggest factor when you're younger is you want to accumulate money. You want to accumulate your funds for a later date called retirement. And when you're working with a uh, financial planner, that's what his job is to do, is to accumulate money for you so that when you retire, you can retire comfortably. What I see a lot of, though, are people that are using the mind frame of uh, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, the mind frame of risk to build and accumulate, but when they get closer to retirement, 50, 55, 60, now their whole idea has to change into more preservation of those funds. You need to preserve those funds because you're going to be using those funds, and you cannot afford big losses. So there's a, there's a rule called rule of 100, and here's the way it works. Pretty simple. You take 100, and then you take whatever age you are. Let's take for an example that you're 65. With your portfolio, by the rule of 100, you should have 65% of that retirement money in safer vehicles and 35% at risk. When you're 70, you have 70% in safe vehicles. 30%. You understand how that goes. So um, the rule of 100 is a real, it's been around for a long time, it works, and people want to have, the older you get, the safer you should be with your money. That's my general feeling with retirement planning. Richard, can you talk about the difference between a financial advisor and a retirement planner? Well, a financial planner is a person that handles your money during the accumulation stage while you're working. A retirement specialist, completely different, is a person that actually handles your retirement accounts for the rest of your life. Here's an example. You have a, a financial planner gets you to the point where you stop working. A retirement specialist makes sure that that money is going to last the rest of your life. And there's a lot of factors involved there. You want to make sure, number one, you don't lose money because you can't afford to lose money. You no longer have a paycheck coming in. And you don't know how long you're going to live. So you can't afford market loss. So the big thing is, um, as a retirement specialist, I look to make sure that your money lasts as long as you do. All right, Richard, thanks again. Well, thank you, Scott, for having me. My guest has been Richard Cummings in Clearwater, Florida, and you're watching Retirement News Online.